that is so good it should be illegal. I'm Chewy and in this video I'm going to show you how to make jerky at home. You won't buy store-bought stuff after watching this video. Now there is a bit of prep but it is well worth it. Just sit back, grab a drink or two and let's get into it. Now to make jerky we are going to need a lean cut of beef and for today's recipe I've gone for the Jarillo cut. Jarillo is the eye cut of silver side, or the eye of round if you live over the other side of the pond. Anyway, I popped into Gippsland Premium Meats and they sorted me out with this 1.7 kilo piece that is nicely trimmed up and ready to go. Now, I recommend putting the Gorillo in the freezer for about an hour before you want to start slicing it up. It's going to make your job so much easier. Now, slicing it across the grain into five mil thick pieces, that's what we're after. Now, just placing all the slices into a container or a Ziploc bag until we sort out our marinade. Pretty easy so far nearly as easy as liking this video. Now it's time to make the marinade and this recipe is for two kilograms of meat. Now although this isn't quite two kilograms, it's better to have more than not enough. So into a bowl we're going to put two cups of beef stock, two cups of soy sauce, a quarter cup of whiskey, one cup of Worcestershire sauce, oh I hate that word, one cup of dark brown sugar, one tablespoon of onion powder, one tablespoon of chili flakes, three tablespoons of coarsely ground black pepper and ten cloves of garlic minced up. Stir this up and add it to the beef. Now obviously stir it all up and make sure every piece of meat is covered by the marinade. Shove that in the fridge overnight for about eight hours anywhere up to 24 hours, any longer and it becomes too salty. Okay, our beef has been marinating overnight and it's time to get it out of its bath of goodness. Now just lay the pieces out on some paper towel and pat them dry to remove as much moisture as possible. Now pop these aside until we get the smoker ready. Today I'm going to be using a 57 centimetre Weber Smoky Mountain and I want to be smoking at temps around the 70 to 75 degrees Celsius mark. Now how I'll do that is by filling the charcoal ring with charcoal, putting a fire lighter in the centre and lighting it up. Just place a piece of charcoal on top, not to smother it out. And I'll add some smoking wood, two chunks of cherry wood and two pieces of red wine oak. Then we can start to put the WSM together. Now I am going to use the bottom grade as well but I'm not going to put it in now and you'll see why I don't put it in now a bit later on. Put the top grade in. Attach an ambient temp probe to it, put the lid on and we'll open the top vent and we're going to close those bowl vents down right now and we're just going to watch that temp as it climbs up to our target temp. Now the bowl vent settings, I've only got one open about the width of a match and I'm just going to watch that temp and just slowly adjust it until we settle on around that 70 degrees Celsius. The smoker is at temp, so it is time to get that jerky on. And I find it so much easier to have the jerky on wire racks to transfer them into the smoker. That way the lid's not off for a long time and our temps won't spike. And this is why we have that bottom grill out. We can arrange our jerky on it and put it in there really quick. As you can see, I'm keeping the jerky away from the outer edge because the wall of the WSM does tend to heat up. So the bottom grill goes in, top grill back on, wire racks on the top, lid back on. We definitely don't want the temp climbing on this cook, so when you take the lid off, work quickly and get it back on there. The jerky will take around four to five hours to cook if you have cut it around five mil thick. Understandably, if your slices are thicker, they're just going to require an extra hour or two. With that said, I'll always start checking the jerky after about an hour in the smoker. I just want to check that it's drying evenly between the two racks. And if they need it, I'm going to start moving some of the pieces around. At the end of the cook, we're after jerky that is bendable, has a little bit of softness to it, but is still firm. We definitely don't want to bend it and have it break. So keep a check on it, especially once you hit that three to four hour mark. Just think of the next jerky cook you do. You could be snacking on your own jerky. Today, I'm cooking with a low indirect heat of 70 to 75 degrees Celsius. Now this cook is going to take around four to five hours. Or for those of you who like to use my beer timer, you're looking at a 10 beer cook. Now, if the jerky's done in four hours, that's actually an eight beer cook. It's up to you if you want to drink the other two beers. Well, our jerky is ready, so we just need to get it out of the smoker. 
The smell coming off this is fantastic. So, I like to put mine into a Ziploc bag. It's easy enough, open the bag, pop it in, and just leave it open a little bit. It is going to steam away while it's a bit warm, and that's fine. It'll keep that jerky a bit moist. The fact is, you close it all the way up, it's just gonna get way too wet in there. Once it's fully cooled down, you can close it up and put it in the fridge. Yes, I said moist. It's a great word. Moist, 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 moist. Now that you have a good supply of jerky, how long will it last like this? You may have noticed we didn't use any curing salts. So it won't last as long as what we'd call normal jerky. It will last a couple of weeks in a tightly sealed container or Ziploc bag, or portion out and freeze some of it and it will last a couple of months. How good does this look? If smells anything to go by, we're on a winner. Look at that, perfect texture. That's what you want. Mmm, that is incredible. That is so good, it should be illegal. As always, cheers for watching.